Keep watching to meet one of America's top trial lawyers, Nelson Tyrone. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Michael J. Swanson. Michael is the author of How David Beats Goliath and is the CEO of Advocate Capital. And now, here's Michael. Nelson Tyrone has a passion for helping people, which has led him to become a personal injury lawyer who represents the families of children injured during birth. Nelson graduated from the University of Virginia in 1992 and from the University of Georgia Law School in 1998 with honors. In addition to helping his clients, Nelson devotes a great deal of time to organizations that serve children with cerebral palsy, developmental delays, and epilepsy. In addition to his time, he also supports them financially through Tyrone's Tykes, his own charitable organization. Since 2012, Nelson has been recognized every year by the Super Lawyers, an organization that recognizes the top trial lawyers in the country. He is also a senior staff member of the Jerry Spence Trial Lawyers College. And now, here's Nelson Tyrone. Joining us today to talk about another case that made a difference in people's lives is Nelson Tyrone. Nelson, thanks for being here. I'm really happy to be here. Boy, you do such important work for your clients, and there's one case in particular I'm hoping you'll share with us about today, so I think you call it the Watson case. Can you tell us about that? Sure. So Kaylee Lynn Watson was injured during labor and delivery um, when the doctors and hospital and the nurses didn't recognize that she was in trouble in her mom's womb, was not getting enough oxygen. Mm. Because of their delay, she had a profound brain injury. Um, she's now 16 years old and developmentally is probably along the lines of a three or four year old. Um, she'll never be able to live independently. Mm. In that case, I started off as local counsel. Uh, by the time we got to trial, there was a zero offer. I was supporting the lead lawyer on the case. Um, after a two week trial, we got a significant verdict. Um, that now takes care of Kaylee Lynn for the rest of her life. It's in a special needs trust and she gets the very best medical care that money can buy. And she's surrounded by people who love her and always will be. So Wonderful. not only do I get, not only did that change Kaylee's life, but it changed my life. That's when I became and decided to become a full-time birth injury lawyer. Wow. Um, and not only do I get to see Kaylee Lynn, um, as she grows up, uh, but her mom was so frustrated by the way that they were treated by the insurance companies mm -hmm. and by the lawyers during trial. Mm -hmm. that her mom, Melissa, went back to school, finished school, went to paralegal school, got wow. a degree, and now works for us. Oh, my goodness. The very first people, the very first person that callers talk to when they call mm -hmm. is Melissa, who is the mother of Kaylee Lynn, wow. who raised her really as a single mom. And so... They're talking to someone who knows where they're coming from, who has been through everything that they're going through and may go through. And even in cases where we don't end up being able to help people or where it's uh, no one's fault, it's not someone's negligence. Mm -hmm. This is able to direct them to services and resources that can improve their life and improve their child's life. And so it really just feels very much like full circle for me yeah. to have that case be the start of my birth injury practice to have Melissa in our office and to get to see Kaylee Lynn. I mean, I saw her this past weekend. Wow. So it's just really sweet. And, and, and so this changed Kaylee Lynn's life for the better from where she started when you, when you first met her, her, her family, be able to take care of her, good medical care, um, you change your life. Um, I, I think for the better, you're helping more and more people now and it changed Melissa's life and it's changing the lives of your future clients. So what a ripple effect. That's amazing. It, it's really awesome. And so when you asked me earlier, hey, is there a case that you'd like to talk about or client? Yeah. Um, there's no place to start, but with Kaylee Lynn, it changed everything for us. Yeah. Um, and in, and in, in the process, we were able to change everything in Kaylee Lynn's life. Wow. Uh, she will now not have to rely on government subsidized care. Yeah. Not end up in a facility mm -hmm. surrounded by people who love and care for her uh, for the rest of her so life. That, that's a good point, right? I guess I didn't think of that because if you are not able to represent Kaylee, uh, she might end up on just on government assistance someday. Well, so there's that, um, and 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 some government assistance is just fine. And so if the child ends up in a place that's safe for them, 
mm -hmm. um, where they're loved for and cared for, then that's a good outcome. But mm -hmm. unfortunately, that often's not the case. And so um, not only are we able to ensure that the child, as they become an adult and need assistance, will be taken care of for their whole life. But for example, I had a father, um, we settled his son's case last year. And a week or two after we had settled the case, and of course, all that money goes into a special needs trust. So it's protected for his son and will take care of his son for the rest of his life. The father, I asked the father how he was doing. He wasn't a very emotional guy. Mm -hmm. He was one of those sort of closed off people. And he said, I now know that if I die and I don't want to die and I hope I don't die soon, but I now know as a father that if I die, then my son is still taken care of in the way that I would take care of him. And wow. it, it just hit me that yeah. everyone is taken care of. And as a parent, you know, that's the one thing that I would want for my child is that while I'm alive, I will ensure that my children are taken care of. But when I'm not here, mm -hmm. to have the assurance that they're still taken care of would let me sleep at night. And so beautiful. Well, if someone's just hearing the story now and they'd like to maybe ask you a question about a loved one who's maybe been injured or something like that, how would they reach you? Uh, the two best ways to reach us are by phone, 404-377-0017, or they can email me directly. It's Nelson, N-E-L-S-O-N, at TyroneLaw.com. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for sharing the Watson story with us and keep up the great work. Hey, thanks. Glad to. Thanks for watching. Send your questions or comments to Michael at mike at howdavidbeatsgoliath.com.